Voxtrol Small is Voxtrol Mini's elder brother. We covered this Voxtrol Mini yesterday and it was really impressive. So I'm quite keen to try out this Voxtrol small model locally which comes in 24 billion parameter size. It is basically Mistral's latest multimodal model that takes their solid Mistral small 3 foundation and adds some pretty impressive audio processing capabilities on top. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video as it helps a lot. The 24 billion parameter model can handle both pure transcription tasks and more complex audio understanding scenarios supporting up to 30 to 40 minutes of audio with its 32k context. Not only that, what makes it particularly interesting is that it's not just doing speech to text, it can natively understand and respond to audio questions, generate summaries directly from video or sorry voice input and even trigger function calls based on spoken commands all while maintaining the text performance you would expect from the underlying language model the multilingual support is solid too with automatic language detection across eight major languages and the whole thing is designed to work as a unified system rather than requiring separate asr and language model components so let get it installed i'm going to use this ubuntu system the vram requirements are on the higher side i'll be using this nvidia's h100 with 80 gb of vram if you're also looking to rent a gpu or vm on very affordable prices you can find the link to master compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for range of gpus now the tool which i'm going to uh, install this model is VLLM. If you don't know what VLLM is, just go to my channel and search with VLLM. I have done very easy to understand tutorial on VLLM, how to get it installed from various angles. But I'm going to install this VLLM again with UV, which is a modern Python package manager, and I have a recent version installed of UV. And in order to install the VLLM with Mistral's common library support just install it from the nightly version and it is going to take a bit of a time while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with the application in data generation task automation and world simulation our installation is almost done as you can see and everything is now installed. Let's clear the screen. And you can confirm the installation by running this command, which tells you the Mistral Commons latest version. And now we can download and install this model by simply running this surf command. So this is going to download this 24 billion model on our local system. And I think I will just change this tensor parallel size to one because I have only one GPU. And this is going to download the model first time. Let's wait. And the model is being downloaded. It's a big 48.5 gig of um, file. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. And the model is now downloaded and is being served with VLLM on our local system. Let's quickly check the VRAM consumption as the model is fully loaded onto the gpu it is consuming just under 75 gig of vram so i think we should be good let's now test it out so in the first test what i'm going to do in this script i'm importing some of the libraries which we already have installed i am then accessing that vllm endpoint at our local host and then instantiating that endpoint and from here we are processing this local audio file and primarily what i'm doing in this test i'm going to check out the model's emotional understanding as how well it captures the emotional speech and if it can identify all the emotions and where they occur overall emotional state and changes understanding the narrative and context and 
how appropriate appropriately it can respond to emotional content so you can see that if i just scroll through this code it is just going through first transcription this is the first test in the second test i am checking out emotional range detection and i'm using the same prompt template which they have shared plus our temperature and top p values which they have recommended i have done some prompt engineering to um, make the model do what i want it to do like tone and mood analysis and then story writing whatever that is described in that audio that what story is the speaker telling what events led to this moment so audio question answer uh, is also there so a lot of things uh, which i'm testing in this one like empathy is there or not and few other things okay so let's uh, first let me play that audio i already have it on my local system and then i'm just going to run this and we will see how the model responds so listen to this a bit, it's a paragraph. I can't believe this is actually happening. After three years of working nights and weekends, missing family dinners and doubting myself countless times, I finally got the call. They accepted my proposal. My hands are literally shaking right now. You know, there were moments when I wanted to give up completely, especially last winter when everything seemed impossible. I remember crying in my car after that brutal rejection meeting, thinking maybe I'm just not cut out for this. But my grandmother always told me that the biggest victories come right after you feel like quitting. And here I am, proving her right once again. This isn't just a win for me. It's for everyone who believed in this crazy dream when nobody else would. I'm scared. I'm excited. I'm overwhelmed. But most of all, I'm grateful. Tomorrow, everything changes, and I couldn't be more ready for what comes next. So transcription is accurate to the health, which is great. Let's check out the emotional range because there is a lot of things happening here. So you see, it says that speaker expresses several emotions throughout the audio. Disbelief, yep. Excitement, determination, self-doubt. Remember this. And not only... It has identified the emotion, but the chunk in the audio where that emotion occurred. So very high quality. Gratitude, fear, hope, readiness, so all the emotions it has captured, which is really amazing. And then it is talking about tone and mood analysis. Remember the prompt which I gave it in the test three. So it has followed the instruction, which is always good. And it is really uh, getting it right that overall mood is and tone is one of excitement this and this which is good so this is not fear right so overall tone is different so it has taken a holistic view and then story comprehension so the speaker is recounting their journey so this is primarily behind the scene the another sublime mistral small model is talking or should i say you know writing that speaker is recounting their journey to finally having their proposal accepted after three years of hard work including this 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 looks really good so again a mix of emotion so is there any empathy detection so based on personal emotional state a response that acknowledges their hard work validates their feelings and express commitment would be appropriate so if you want to respond to it it already has this maybe you can just simply put it in your text to speech tts model from here and then uh, you can have your full pipeline why not uh, so i think model has really thrown this out of the park uh, 3 billion was also quite good as we checked out in this video if you were if you are interested in this walk stroll which we covered yesterday i think for production grade stuff this work stall small 24 billion is just taking it to another level anyway let's try out um, one more prompt now in the next test i'm going to check out the tool calling or function calling capabilities of this model so i will be providing it a prompt which is going to ask it a weather of a city and then the model is going to decipher it 
with the help of this code as you can see and all this code is doing it is accessing the model again it is using this get weather api which is an external actual api and then it is going to pass on our natural language prompt after extracting the city and then whatever city you say it is going to return us the weather of that particular city okay so this is the whole code which i'm going to use let me first play the audio and then i'm going to run this code for you hey can you check the weather for sydney australia today i'm planning to go out later and want to know if i should bring an umbrella or jacket what's the current temperature and forecast looking like and now let's run the script and there you go so you see as soon as i have run it it has taken that audio it is transcribing it and the transcription is again spot on this is the intent that what person is doing it is asking for weather in sydney australia got the location right this is the location australia and i can just of course you know improve my script to extract it properly or use any other llm to do the function call properly to any mcp server but you can see that it has done wonderfully well in terms of um understanding it calling that function just on the basis of my uh, natural language and then a natural response is there and it's a completed workflow a really good model now you have also improved my prompt here and some regex so let's run it again let's wait for it there you go so it has got the sydney right so you just have to do some prompt engineering um and then it should be good but the main point here is that model understands the function call and tool call from just your audio file that is something really really impressive okay so in the final test i am going to check out the multilinguality in the multilinguality i am testing it with nine languages from across the globe some of the languages are not even its a mentioned list so the nine languages I'm using, some of them are tonal languages like Mandarin. It's very different from other languages. We have character based writing system uh, versus alphabetic script here, a different grammatical structure. Some of them are Asian languages like Hindi, Urdu, uh, Chinese, uh, Arabic, and then some of them are European. So I am just trying to test out the mix of it on transcription and translation so let me run this script and then i will also show you um and i will play for you the audio so let's run this and this is going to start the transcription so you see that it has started with spanish maybe in the background i will also play with the spanish but let's wait for it to finish doing both transcription and translation for each language okay so i'm now going to play the audio and if you are that native language speaker please also confirm in the comments first up there is a spanish sentimiento fugaz que se puede encontrar en los momentos más simples de la vida una conversación cálida con un ser querido una hermosa puesta de sol o una buena taza de café pueden levantar instantáneamente nuestro ánimo Es un estado mental que se puede cultivar a través de la gratitud. In the interest of time, I'm not playing all of it, but please let me know what do you think about the transcription and also translation into the English. And then let's play the French one now. Let me play the French a bit of it. Sentiment fugace qui peut être trouvé dans les moments les plus simples de la vie. Une conversation chaleureuse avec un être cher, un magnifique coucher de soleil ou une bonne tasse de café peuvent instantanément améliorer notre humeur. C'est un état d'esprit qui peut être... Google Translate tells me it is quite good, but let's try out the Portuguese one. I will take your advice. C'est un sentiment fugace qui peut être rencontré dans les moments les plus simples de la vie. Une conversation chaleureuse avec un um ente querido, un bel pôr du sol ou une bonne xícara de café podem instantaneamente elevar nosso humor. Ok, let's go with the Hindi now. Ram samose or chai ki khushbu se bhara mahol tha, jahan rang birangi saadhiyo mein aurte sabziyao kharid rahi thi. 
Yeah, looks quite good to me. I, but you have to tell me if it is right or not because I cannot read this script. Okay, let's go with German. I'm going to play the German here. Flüchtiges Gefühl, das in den einfachsten Momenten des Lebens zu finden ist. Ein warmes Gespräch mit einem geliebten Menschen, ein wunderschöner Sonnenuntergang oder eine gute Tasse Kaffee können unsere Stimmung sofort heben. Es ist ein Geisteszustand, der durch Dankbarkeit, Achtsamkeit und Selbstfürsorge kultiviert werden kann. Okay, let's, that's good. Let's try out Arabic. I don't think so Arabic is in its training set, but let's play it. وجدنا واحة جميلة مليئة بأشجار التمر والنخيل حيث يمكننا الراحة تحت ظلالها الباردة hmm, Pretty good Okay, let's try out the Russian Это мимолетное чувство, которое можно найти в самых простых моментах жизни Теплый разговор с любимым человеком, красивый закат или хорошая чашка кофе могут мгновенно поднять наше настроение. Это состояние ума, которое можно развивать через благодарность, осознанность и заботу о себе. Okay. And let's now try out Urdu. शाम के वक्त चाय की प्याली लेकर छत पर बैठे और दौर से आने वाली कवाली की आवाज सुनते रहे। So the transcription, um, of course, it cannot uh, write Urdu, it seems, but translation is quite good in English, by the way. That is very amazing, and this is very interesting bit. If it doesn't know how to really transcribe it in that native language, it just translates it into English. Okay, and all those files were mp3 i have just tested this chinese one on the wave format let's play it yuanzimanko不远处就是一个地铁站这是一个美丽而神奇的景象树上长满了又大又甜的桃子海团和金鱼的表演是很好看的节目有举门前的人行道上有一个蓝色的油箱 there you go so look i think a pretty full package of very high quality and if you're looking for a model uh, in this in this category may be a good choice for a production environment give it a go please share your opinion in the comments as i am very very keen to hear your thoughts on it especially all the translation in multilinguality please like the video and transcribe it and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe as it helps a lot thank you for watching